What's going on guys, it's Ace here with another Madden Mobile video and today EA released some new uh, Game Changer players and they are pretty nice. I plan on getting a few of them and uh, show them, showing them off to you guys once I get them. But here's just the list right now. They're rather expensive at the moment, but they will get cheaper as the day goes on and as the weeks go on. Um, another shout out real quick before I get into these uh, to my boy Peyton Manning who retired and they're making him a sick uh, career tribute card and I hope it comes to uh, Mad Mobile. I hope so badly it comes to Mad Mobile because that's all I want is to use a decent Peyton Manning card in Madden and I'll be set for life. So anyway, congrats to him. That was really cool to watch his retirement speech yesterday. But without further ado, let's get into these new game changers. We're going to start off with the 98 overall Eric Weddle. He uh, is 98, a safety. His coverage ain't the best. You know, he's got the 92 zone, which is good. Uh, decent speed. But what's cool about him is he adds two zone and takes away one man. So uh, I don't know if I'm really big on this card. This isn't one I'm going to be fighting to get at the beginning or anything because he's going to cost a lot. But I really don't think he's worth it. And then you have the tight end, uh, Gary Barnage. Sorry, not big on the Browns players. Don't really know many of them. But I know he had a good season. And uh, he has two agility and takes away one strength. He's a little slow. Probably not going to use him. Decent run blocking and everything. But uh, like I said, probably never going to use him either. But he's decent. All these guys are pretty good. you got Jamal Charles, new halfback. 97 speed, 95 acceleration. He's a decent halfback. He adds two strength to everybody and takes away one agility. I don't really know why his card does that because uh, strength isn't really his fortitude, but agility is, and I don't know. He takes away one agility and adds two strength, but that would be pretty nice for the whole team. Unfortunately, my running backs are too good, and I don't want to replace them. So let's go on to the next one. Uh, Dion Buchanan here, 96 overall linebacker, plus two tackle. Unfortunately, he's minus one acceleration. But if you look at his stats, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, which would be 94 acceleration, and he'll have 95 tackle, 87 zone, 96, uh, or, I mean 87 man, 96 zone, 99 pursuit. He is ridiculously good, and I would like to use him if he didn't have the minus one acceleration. So I don't really think I'm going to pick him up just because of that, because I'm pretty big on acceleration. Uh, this guy right here, cornerback, uh, plus two jump. Minus one strength, Brandon Boykin, uh, 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 97 zone, 94 man. He's pretty nice. Um, not really big on his bonus. I don't think it really helps much, but, you know, he's pretty good. So if you want to check him out, feel free. I'm sure he won't cost too much in the coming days. Right here in this picture, he's 500K, but that'll drop. Then we have Jordy Nelson here, 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 98 catch. Uh, really missed out on his season. He didn't get to do much this year. But uh, plus two catch, minus one acceleration. Again, someone uh, subtracting acceleration. Don't plan on using him. Catching ain't that great. Uh, Odell Beckham adds five, so I don't really need that. You have Adrian Peterson here who adds two agility and subtracts one strength. So I guess that's kind of what they were going for. I mean, he's a pretty decent strength back, but um, he will give you those agility spin animations and everything too. So it's really if you want him or Jamal Charles. Charles is a little bit faster because of his acceleration, but Adrian Peterson, of course, I don't know. He's going to be a good running back. Either way, I'm not using him because I got too good a running back, so we're going to move on to the next one. And here's one I'd really like, but I'm not sure if I'll get him anytime soon. Travis Frederick, he adds to awareness and takes away one strength, which isn't my favorite boost I've ever seen on anyone, and I really like my Jason Kelsey I have in now that adds to acceleration and takes away one strength. But his stats are ridiculous. 96 pass block, 98 run, and 99 impact. He would be an incredible player to add to anyone's team. And then we have Julio Jones, 96 overall, plus two agility, minus one awareness. Not the worst boost, uh, not the best either. Pretty fast, 97 catch. I don't. There's so many good receivers in this game, I wouldn't even really worry about him yet. Uh, the, uh, the defensive end here, 96 overall, plus two awareness, minus one acceleration. So many guys uh, subtract an acceleration in this um, edition or this release of whatever they are. The cars with the DNA up in the top, whatever you want to call them. Uh, some people call them game changers. Me, I can't figure out what they're called. Carlos Dunlap, but he's a he's a pretty decent DN. Again, a lot of good DNs in the game, so not really worth getting. Uh, here's the one that I want most of all. Dominique rogers Camardi plus two speed. Again, he subtracts acceleration, but I have enough guys with a bonus in acceleration for that not to make too much of a difference, seeing as he's adding two speed. I wouldn't want it at the other positions, but since he adds two speed, I'll take the cut in acceleration. Hopefully, I can get a hold of him. He's one that I want most of all. And uh, 
That way I can get rid of Sammy Watkins, who's been sitting there lower in my overall in my offense for so long. That would be fantastic. Plus, look at his stats. They're just ridiculous. I'm not even going to read them here. You can see them yourselves. And they're, they're just, I don't know, one of the best in the game. Pretty nice. Uh, right here, here's one I definitely plan on getting is Vontae's Perfect. Uh, correct me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but uh, 86 speed, not that great. 93 acceleration is okay. 84 zone and everything, that's pretty nice, but he adds two strength and minus one agility, so I think that's a, I, I like strength on my team, and I'm probably about to replace Tom Brady if they do make a Peyton Manning, so I'm going to need to make up for that strength boost that uh, Brady has. Then here we have Tony Romo, for all you Cowboys fans out there, adds to awareness, minus one elusiveness, pretty decent throw stats, nice accuracy, throw power is not the best, but uh, adding to awareness, yeah, I mean, that, that'd be a pretty nice stat to have. And then here's, uh, there's one more guy, but here's the set that you can do now. It's um, to get an elite game changer, 20 game changer things, and five gold trophies. I actually like that they added this set. It'll balance out the prices for these guys. So I'm pretty happy about that. Just wanted to show you that they added that. And uh, right here, Kiwan or Kawan Short, he's uh, another, or a defensive tackle. He's one I might want because I currently have Ndamukong Sue in. And I think I would cut into Dominican Sue. Seeing as this guy's not very expensive, I think it would probably be profitable for me to get rid of uh, the Dominican Sue and add this guy to my team. So I might actually look into getting him. But yeah, tell me what you guys think of the players and which ones you think um, you'd be interested in getting. And remember to subscribe for the giveaway, guys. Uh, at 1,000 subscribers, getting pretty close. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.